Basic Blueprint Reading for Welders. Chapter 9, Machine Features, Part 2. Gary Pace, P-E-C-W-I, TexasWeldingEngineering.com. Here's where I snagged all the information. Open Oregon Blueprint Reading. If you do a Google search on Open Oregon Blueprint Reading, this information should come up. There's a book online and it has everything. You're going to want to go to, I think, Chapter 9 or 10, and that's where the information is. All the answers are right there. Okay, in this episode, we're going to talk about the following terminology. Fillet, kerf, keyway, key set, neural, and lug. This is a fillet, a small radius filling formed between the inside angle of two surfaces. You can see this looks pretty similar to a fillet weld. Here we've got a fillet weld. You can see it looks pretty similar to a fillet. So it's just where two, um, it's on a T where two surfaces meet. It's that inside angle where two surfaces meet. Fillet. This should be part of your vocabulary. Kerf. The narrow slot formed by removing material while sawing or other machining. Here we have a keyway. A keyway is a slot or groove within a cylinder tube or pipe. A key is fitted into the key seat and will slide into the keyway and prevent movement of the parts. This is for like shafts for something that's going to be turning. Here we have a key seat. A key seat is a slot or groove on the outside of a part which fits in which the key fits. A narrow groove or slot cut in a shaft for accommodating a key. You can see a key is going to go in here and it's going to slide into the keyway and it's going to keep that shaft from sliding. Here we have a key seat and a keyway. You can see the shaft has the key seat cut into it and then the hub which is part B has a key way cut into it. <laughs> this is key seats and keyways. But anyways, you can see that that little key in there is going to keep these two from sliding when the shaft is rotating. So we use these on hubs and all kinds of different mechanical applications. But anyways, this is what a key seat and a keyway look like when they are put together. This is a neural. To uniformly roughen with a diamond or a straight pattern, a cylindrical or flat surface. You'll see this on um, a lot of different situations. Maybe on like a little turning handle or something, it'll be a knurled pattern so that you can get your hands on it and it doesn't get too slick. This is a knurl. Here we have a lug. A piece projecting out from a body of a part, usually rectangular in cross section, with a hole or slot in it. Where you're going to see this is like for lifting. This is for lifting big heavy parts. You're going to have a lug. These are called the lugs. This is a lifting lug. We A lot of times in welding you're going to weld a lug onto a big piece of steel to lift it up. A lug also known as a lifting lug or a pad eye is essentially a plate with a hole in it where the hole is sized to fit a clevis pin. Lugs are used in combination with clevis pins to transmit load between different mechanical components. So this is a lifting lug. If you're going to be in iron working, anything to do with steel, you're probably going to run across lifting lugs. You're probably going to be asked to weld a lifting lug onto something. So this is a lifting lug. Okay, we covered fillet, kerf, keyway, key seat, knurl, and lug. All right, that's it for today. We'll talk at you later. Pace out.